Greetings from Özrover team at Özyen University in Istanbul, Turkey. We are a dedicated group of 20 passionate students, engineers, designers and programmers. Today, we are excited to introduce our newest rover, RS3. As the mechanical sub team, our goal this year was to enhance the reliability of the rover. Starting with the chassis, we replaced the previous polyamide structure with laser cut 2mm steel sheets allowing for a larger and more rigid design. To minimize weight while maintaining strength, we applied custom topology optimization. New and large chassis enables us to attach the science system inside the chassis, which allows us to use both the manipulator and the science at the same time. The wheels were completely redesigned for better grip on Mars-like terrain. The ABS wheel rims ensure high impact resistance and durability, while the 83A short TP tires provide flexibility to adapt to obstacles and quickly return to shape without deformation. For the manipulator, we retained the carbon fiber tubelings and 3D printed carbon fiber reinforced joints to maintain a lightweight yet strong structure. Additionally, the cyclodial drives were completely redesigned and manufactured to enhance reliability and load capacity. The end effector features a gripper with TPU jaws, providing better flexibility and grip while handling objects. The linear movement mechanism allows for precise control while the worm gear system ensures non-back drivability and increases torque, enhancing the force applied. And the factor also has a slip ring mechanism, which enables infant rotation for ease of use. As the electrical and electronic sub team, we began by testing our last year over battery pack. The test showed us that our battery still had a 600 watt hour capacity left. We used the CAN protocol to count, control Cupmas AK motors. Our team designed a breakout PCB, which is directly connected to Orion via flex cable and contains two CAN transceivers. We built two separate transmission lines with proper termination and twisted pairs. To maximize the performance of these, we modeled it in a spy simulation and checked the signal levels. We also conducted eye diagram tests on the line and compared the results to the standards. This year, we designed more compact science board, which contains a high-power DC motor driver, high-precision stepper driver, and other necessary connectors. To power these parts, we designed a built-in buck converter that generates 5 and 12 volt rails. In order to enhance our rover safety, we implemented a series of protection circuits, including a main fuse directly connected to battery output, an emergency stop button, and a high current relay controlled by a custom battery protection circuit. This circuit continuously monitors the battery voltage. If the voltage drops below a certain threshold, the microcontroller opens the relay, disconnecting the motors from the battery. The software is designed to meet the specific requirements of mission use cases. We leverage Gazebo to simulate our robotic arm environment, which serves as a foundation for our application development. ROS Control handles hardware services by offering interfaces to manage joint movements, while Movit computes and dispatches joint trajectories through an inverse kinematic solver. The navigation stack supports visual markers alongside GPS data with improved target tracking and object detection using the Z2i camera to detect arco tags and common objects. For autonomy, a YOLO V5-based pipeline detects and localizes markers via the Z camera, ensuring scalability for additional visual markers. ROS handles inter-process communication while an RRT star pathfinder generates routes and the PID controller follows them. A state machine manages collision checks and records detected markers as the rover moves. A map server tracks RS's position on a geographical map for efficient mission execution. As the science team, we have implemented improvements to enhance the reliability and performance of our model. Just as last year, we have a drill that is attached to a DC motor and the stepper motor controls the vertical movement of the drill assembly. With our new model, we can collect samples from a depth of 30 cm. This year we have replaced the flexible tube system with a closed container system, which minimizes material loss during the soil transportation process, ensuring more efficient and reliable sample collection. We use Bradford SA with Comasi Brilliant Blue, which undergoes a shift in its absorption spectrum from a 470 nanometers to 595 nanometers upon binding to protein. A CCD spectrometer enables us to capture the full absorption spectrum and convert absorbance data into a graphical representation, facilitating precise analysis and interpretation. Similar to last year, our model is equipped with sensors that monitor air quality, ozone, carbon dioxide, and carbon monoxide concentration. 
Additionally, it can measure humidity, temperature, and light levels, which can provide insight into the presence of potential water sources.